let's talk about the day that I almost quit. And this is not one of those like hypey, over dramatic things. This really was the toughest day that I've ever had in my business. And uh, we'll talk about a little bit why this was so tough and some of the things that happened. So here we go. Welcome back to the Your Money, Your Life podcast. I'm your host, Amy Sorka. Today, we're talking about the day that I almost quit. And full transparency, like this is still probably hard. This, not probably, this still is hard to talk about. And I'm not saying this out of a over dramatic thing. Yes, I've had tough days in my business before and I've contemplated it, but I've never come this close, close to quitting before. So let's talk about what happened. There was a offer. Somebody that I follow was making a really great offer. It was ending, it was a Friday. So price was going up or doors were closing, one or the other. I don't remember which. I think it was both actually on Friday evening. And I had everything ready for my Black Friday promo. It was going live on Monday the 20th. We've talked about this, right? Was going live on Monday, the 20th. But I decided that the only way that I was going to let myself invest in the other program that I wanted was if I made the sale to cover the difference. Okay. Or to cover the cost of the program. What did I do? I decided to throw together a crazy bonus. To me, it felt like a no brainer. And this is probably why it hit so hard to my email list. It was the only place that I talked about it was on the email list. Didn't mention it here. Didn't mention it on social media, nothing. But if you purchased that early secret special bonus, I was, or special Black Friday offer, I was giving you a crazy bonus. And essentially it was paying for itself. I'll tell you what it was. So the Money Makeover QuickBooks audit was going on sale. It's normally $297. It was 50% off. It was going to be $147. Okay. So the bonus that I was giving you, though, if you purchased on that Friday, was $150 credit towards any of my other coaching courses, programs, any of that stuff. Okay. So essentially, it was paying for itself. Like, you were getting double your value. So I had everything ready. I got the special secret email ready. Sent it out. Crickets. Actually, a couple unsubscribes, if we're going to be transparent here. But there was crickets. Nothing. And after that, I let it hit me the wrong way. I had very high expectations for some unknown reason. We're going to talk about like some of that in a minute. But because like I felt like we had put together this no-brainer offer, it was super crazy good deal, and there was nothing. Nobody was interested. And I guess I took it personally, we could say. But after that, like later on that evening, I was... I was ready to quit. I was ready to walk away. So stats show that most businesses fail, but in reality, do they fail or is it that they quit because they choose to walk away because they believe they can't handle it? And what I uncovered, because I tell you to wait, don't make the decisions out of emotion. So I didn't. I didn't do the same. I did what I preach. There we go. If I was coaching myself, I did the work, right? I did not make decisions there in that moment. But I was going to bed on Friday night thinking like, okay, I'm going to be done. Like, this is kind of lame. We've got this whole second segment of the podcast queued up, ready to go. But like, what? let's it. We'll just close the doors. Like, it's not. If I can put together in a crazy no brainer offer like that and nobody wants it like what the heck am I doing this for um I know like that's not these were the thoughts then that I was having but that's what I went to bed on Friday night thinking so Saturday a little perspective happened right I realized like I was setting the expectations instead of doing the work that I need to doing the things that I need to showing up, teaching, training, giving you the opportunity. And if you're ready for you to take the next step and not setting the expectation 
of what I expected to happen was part of my thing. I waited the time. That helped, right? I'll share with you in a minute some of the things that I'm doing in the future to help with that expectation. Okay. But we have to let go of the things that don't matter. And yes, sales matter. But the unsubscribes didn't matter. And I let them mean something. If somebody unsubscribes, it just means that like I'm not who they want to be hearing from right now. And that's perfectly fine because I'm here to show up repeatedly for the people who are looking to find me. So I clearly made the decision to stick it out. And there's a little bit behind that. Like when I first got started in network marketing, they would be like, okay, people would quit. But it also was like, quit to what? Like, what are you going to do? I'm definitely not going back to a job. So like, I can't imagine not running a business. This is what I love to do. I'm so passionate about it. I can't imagine not doing it. So what are you going to do if you quit? Focusing on the things that matter, right? But also looking forward. Okay, so I've seen a pattern where I can set expectations when I do all this work to put in a big lump. That's not really sustainable even like with the current life that I have with the young kids at home and the homeschooling, all those things. I don't really love doing those big launches. So moving forward, what am I going to do? Less of the big launches, more of the funnels, more of the smaller promotions. These things are available and then there's not, and it's no big deal. No pressure, just continuing to work, being unstoppable. Like I talked about last week, just doing the work that I need to, the things that do actually matter, focusing on those things. I wanted to share some of this because I know I'm not the only one that have, has tough times. I'm not the only one that has struggled and had difficult days. And I want you to know that you're not alone and give you a little bit of insight on how I handle those tough, do- tough days when it happens, because especially when you're running your own business, that's going to come up. I mean, they happen in life, but if you're juggling all the things running your own business, tough days are going to happen. That's just the way it is. Um, if here's my couple of my notes that I wrote and written, there we go, written down since then to help remind myself in some of those moments, some of those things that might trigger me and they shouldn't, but that doesn't mean that it's wrong. It's again, just the emotion and how we're handling it, how we're moving forward that determines our success. So if I make little things, a big thing, I'm not going to grow past it. And I'll probably make these like into quote cards or something on social to share because I think this is important. So if you make little things a big thing, you're not going to grow past it. And then most stuff isn't as big of a deal as we think it is. And that was definitely what I was doing. I made the unsubscribes, the p- fact that it wasn't the right offer for my audience currently, a bigger deal than it was. And it was also a Friday. So who knows? Maybe they didn't see it in their email. Doesn't matter. I was making it a bigger deal. I was making assumptions then I didn't need to. So if you make things, make little things a big thing, you won't grow past it. And then most stuff isn't as big of a deal as we think it is. And even though statistics show that most businesses fail, they don't really fail. They quit because we choose to walk away. And I'm not choosing to walk away anytime soon because um, I love what I do. And like I mentioned last week with the three key computer Three key lessons from my computer fiasco. Like you, I fill the unique spot. Like there is nobody else like me in the marketplace. And you're here, you're listening because you want to hear from me. And I'm going to continue to be there for you. So that's what I've got for this week. If you, if this was encouraging for you, I'd love for you to tell me. Send me a message on Instagram. Let me know. Um, just we're in the fight together, right? We're all going through these things. It happens to all of us and you're not alone. We'll see you next time. Bye for now. Thank you so much for listening to the Your Money, Your Life podcast. Wondering what's next? When you're ready, there are different levels of support that you can use on the path to creating unstoppable finances and your unstoppable life. After all, your finances are unique and your support should be too. 
Ultimately, we'll create a customized plan to ditch financial struggle for good that works for you, your goals, your priorities, your life. Go to workwithamy.com to get started with one of our most popular programs, or you can book a Q&A call with me and we'll figure out what your next step should be 